probably going to be a wet day out here today. Need to get some of this grass cut too. Sheesh. Well, figured I'd put it in the beginning of this video. Mr. Scrappity looking for tire date codes. There, I'll show you real quick. And anybody else that wants to know, you got to look for the DOT number. You see the DOT number here? Right? And it would be... It'll always be in a little oval thing like this because they change the die every week, you know, as they're stamping the tires out. So don't pay attention to these numbers. Who knows what they are. But this is the one you're looking for. It'll be next to the DOT number. It's a four-digit code. The first two is the week of the year. And then the second two is the year. So you see this one was made on the first week of 2016. Okay. That's the best way to tell. It's usually only on one side of the tire. Sometimes it's on the inside. You know, the, the correct number. Let's go over here and check this one. This is a good thing to know because, you know, there's been times where... You know, you can go to a store like Walmart or somewhere, and they can have tires on the shelf for three, four years, and they won't even tell you. Oh, they're brand new. No, they're three years old, but... See this one? We got a DOT number, a bunch of gibberish, and then this oval stamped area. So it's 52nd week of, the, of 17 was this tire. So let's go to the other side and see if they're matching. Uh, see, fifth week of 17. So, you know, that this tire was built in the beginning of 17, and that one was in the end of 17. So, you know, and they probably came from the same tire store off the same rack, but they're months and months and months apart. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. Another thing. If you find this number that I'm talking about and there's like letters in the beginning, it's before the year 2000. So that would mean it's in the 90s or older because they didn't start doing this date like this until 2000. So it's good information to know. That way you don't get scammed, get a tire from 1997. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely don't want to do that. This thing's making some sort of bearing noise. I don't know if it's the alternator or the idler. Or even the AC clutch. I'm going to try to figure it out right now. Just so I know. Now it's really not making the noise. It does it really bad when you first start it up. just started like you heard the crunch and then it started making noise I think it's the bearing in the alternator this is an old mechanics trick take like an extension or a bar of some sort and you just stick it on there use it as like a stethoscope you know you stick it into your ear and you can really hear the bearings I'm going to try to stick it into the microphone of the camera and see if you guys can hear it I'll try that now 
I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try. All right, we're gonna just stick it on the housing of the all there. I can feel it through my through the bar, but listen. Right? I don't know if that worked or not, but we'll see. I think the alternator, the bearing and the alternator is going out. That, that couldn't have been any better on cue, though, right? It was perfectly quiet, and then clunk. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to go see what Fred's getting into. Maybe weigh out some motors and grab some metal to fix the trailer, which you guys should have seen yesterday if anybody was paying attention. But that'll be tomorrow's video. What a difference a day makes, right?
go. Yeah. My, my index finger here can cut to the bone, right, where the stainless plate. Yeah. And it cut the nerve. When I hit it just right, yeah. I feel like somebody's freaking got electric shock on You know what? That happens to this hand, too. Maybe got that's it. my problem, got right? I didn't know what it was. And, like, you see right here? I cut that one and there killed all the nerve. Showed the nerve, yeah. So maybe that's the same thing I go through. Because yeah. I didn't know what it was. And it's like, it'll just be the right way. And it's like, eek, ah! <laughs> right? It's like, eek. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It happens to me, too. I didn't know what it was. You want to do irony aluminum on this? Yeah. I mean, I don't see the center caps for the front ones, though. Did you? I can turn up. Ah, scrap them. Unless you want to keep them for the auction. in here yeah. <laughs> they'll probably look at me and go no reason you're bringing stuff in here is you're cheap like me and you got the dumpster for nothing yeah, exactly. and I go oops I got caught <laughs> well it ain't for nothing I mean there's a lot of here recycling know? is over here if he wants all the metal off the property he should give you one what the heck okay. right yeah well, that's what, what I thought one of them guys should if you want if you want everything off of here give us a free dumpster if not, we'll take it where we're going to get paid more. 
It's just how it works. I told him, you know, it wasn't like I was getting it for nothing, I had to pay. Yeah. This one is really close to being clean. Oh, this is a nice commercial one, too, huh? Isn't it? It's not a defect. Uh, do I have a set of blues? I think I do on my door. Hatchet time. Clear the tools out of the way. Put on your safety squares. Yahtzee! There you go. Now she's clean. Yeah, there's, a, there's another load back here. Well, you can probably put some on top of here. Hey, all these clips you can dump in my truck. We can do them a sheet. Okay. Get them right out of here. Right? right. You want to get a box for them or a bag? You can if you want, or so a track bag find a crate. Right. Here, how about that black crate right there? That crate. Well, there's too many. There's well, thousands of them. All right, we'll try it. Here, you can get most of them in there. Yeah, I don't care. Just dump them right in the truck. Much like work, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Sometimes you got to go back and forth. Sometimes. My blacksmith thing really grabs onto it good. There you go. Okay. There you go. Sometimes you can roll it too, like that. Like you literally roll it. There you go. <laughs> I save this for wintertime when it's not hot at all, you know? You watch him do this with a torch, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> Getting out of here. <laughs> Too much like work, right? That's why I like the hatchet idea. Sometimes it works good. Like you can just do this and go right down it with a hatchet. Like this. Sometimes it... Take it. 
Really? Yeah. What one died? You didn't see it? The one on the bench? The new one? No, no, that one. That blue one's just a Harbor Freight. No, the turn of the century. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. I know there's more out here, right? Just think, it was a dollar twenty-five. I know. What is that? That's a piece of styrofoam or something. Oh, it's connected to your phone. It's a cat connected to my phone. <laughs> I got a puppet. Whoop! Oh, out. There it goes. There's stuff. I didn't think there was too much. Look, you got that. Oh yeah, you're right. That's you got cool. that thing there with the wheels on it. Got wheels. That's yeah. Good. That's clean. Look at all this sheet. We can pick this whole pile up. You're stepping on the throat of my truck just to get rid of it. All right. All these little tidbits. Get them off the ground. Right over here. There's probably something that we can take as stainless. Maybe. Yeah, this thing. This one thing here doesn't have any wheels on it. We can take that. Well, this stuff has to be This piece doesn't here, neither does this piece. This is stainless or aluminum. But hold this one. Can you hold this one? You want it? No, just hold it. No. Put your hand on this one. There you go. Stainless or aluminum? That's stainless. It might be aluminum. I we gotta check it. That's got the wheels on it, so we'll leave it. Let me see if it knocks. Here you go. That's this. I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe with, with a real hammer. This is sheet. See it? This thing right here. You take a sheet. That sheet. 
actually siding, but how in the world are we gonna clean this stuff? It's too hard to clean. Man. That stuff so is that it. stainless though? It's all stainless, yeah. Like real stainless? It's kind of rusty. We don't find out. Uh, but it all has to be ground with a grinding wheel. We're gonna wreck grinding wheels. Yeah. We'll see. Here, look. Let me see. It's real stainless. Oh, that one isn't. Okay. Neither's yeah. that one. This one is though. How about this one? No. Nope. What other ones do you while you're hitting the mag? This one with all the corrosion on it. Oh no, that's good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. And Top and how bottom. About short one there. That's steel. Yep. How about this one? Nope. This good, one. good, 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 that good, one looks good. Looks kind of skanky. Nope, good. It's good. So it's this, and this, and this. So is this one. They're heavy, man. Alright. This is prepared, but bye bye. <laughs> well, the rain's starting. Hopefully, we can get this stuff unloaded before it starts dumping on us. We got a couple hours in. That's good. Make another dent in it. Fred's got all stainless on his truck. If you guys didn't figure that out. <laughs> He's waving at somebody. <laughs> Pay attention to the road, Fred. Fred's over there taking the stainless out, throwing it in a dumpster. I'm going to get this sheet out. Well, it looks like we got to go do an alternator repair because the belt just, or the alternator just locked up on me coming over here. Almost smoked the belt off, but it didn't. Hopefully I can make it home. Today. Didn't really feel like buying an alternator today, but it's the way the cookie comes. <laughs> You're dragging your strap. You're dragging your strap. <laughs> you keeping them hubcaps? If you don't have the center cap, there's nothing I can do with them. Well, the front ones, get to the other ones have center cap. All right, okay. Yeah, other... Oh, she's hating life. I hope the belt's still on there. I'm gonna have to check. Might have came off. Oh, sure stinks, man. Smell the rubber. Oh, man. She's on fire, boys. The belt's still on there, so that's good. But it ain't charging no more. She quit charging. You smell it though, right? It's like electrical. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So now the battery gauge comes on. Yeah. Yeah, I think we know, bud. I think we know. Hopefully we make it home. I have to take the Xterra and get some parts. 
I feel like Scrap Kingdom over here. All oh, my trucks are broke! Oh. <laughs> uh, it's the life, right? <laughs> Too bad I don't own any other S10s. I could just steal the alternator off it. This is the only one I got. Hmm. Found this one in the trash a couple months ago. But it is different. This is an older generation GM one, one wire. This mount looks the same on here, but you see this lower one over here. See, because this, this style alternator is meant to be adjusted, right? It would be on a slide and it would adjust to tighten the V-belt. This one is not because it has a tensioner. So it is a little bit different. I bet you in a third world situation, I could get this one to work, <laughs> right? I would just have to build some sort of bracket to mount it here and then switch these pulleys out. But I'm not going to go through all that mess. I'm just going to go get one, keep this one in the hoard for the apocalypse, I guess. But this thing's brand new. I mean, I don't think if it was on something, it wasn't on it very long. You can see where the belt was riding, but it wasn't on there very long. And it probably works. She's a little squeaky, but I bet you it works. And realistically, if you just drilled here with a real small drill and put some grease in there, maybe even pop a grease fitting in there, that would help a lot. And you can see the back of this is plastic. Well, let's make some phone calls. Time to do an automotive repair. All right. I'm glad it didn't happen down to auction. I wouldn't have made it back at night with no lights. That's for sure. All right, here comes the rain. Good thing I got a tent. already disconnected the battery. I called around, it's 124 with a $56 cord. So we'll get this thing off of here and go we'll get a new one. Back on the road. I thought I was gonna have to change the belt. This belt looks all right. And I don't think it actually seized up. I think the, it looks like the armature or the windings exploded. Cause there's like pieces of the insulation coming out of the back of it. But at least it's an easy repair. It does have this stuff jammed down in here. extra bracket back here is a pain. Probably eight mil or something crazy. The rain's starting pretty good. Ten mil for the back bolt. Still gotta put the starter in the donkey. I haven't done that. Still need to get a steering box for my other truck. I haven't done that either. This is really the only thing I got that's running right now. I mean, the donkey runs. It's just a pain to get it started. Me and my brother tried to get it going the other day. It wasn't wasn't happening. Alternate or starters like barely turning. Like, <laughs> I have one sitting in the house for it. Just haven't had time to mess with it yet.
glad they're not corroded in there either. These this truck's in really good shape. You know, considering you see a lot of these things really rotted out. This truck's really nice, actually. And you can tell because all the stuff under here is not super, super corroded either. These things can corrode inside the aluminum. It's a real nightmare. Bar. Come on then. Is. Don't really remember how they go. Is there a tap there? No. Oh, there's one on the back. Okay. Really? You're gonna fight me? Come on, bad boy. Bert, don't break the wire. Let's go. Oh, there it goes. All right. Now we just got to get this big guy off of here. You guys see what's going on there? Kind of. I already just, like I said, I disconnected from the battery, so it should be good. I'm glad it's on top. That's for sure. It makes it an easy repair. Didn't feel like spending $125 today, but you gotta pay to play, right? Gotta pay to play. We'll get a new one once our ride shows back up. And there's definitely some insulation flying out of here. All right. And as you can see, these uh, these threaded bosses can be a, a real pain because it's just aluminum. I mean, you're literally just threading those bolts into the aluminum, so you get what's it called galvanic galvanic effect or whatever i know i'm just a dumb redneck but i'll make it work another thing is you see these these little metal things here to make it easier for you to get them in there you might want to just give them a little give them a little tap sometimes they move but we might have to squeeze them with a pair of pliers and push them push them this way right that way when you tighten your bolt, this just pushes it back against all in there. It makes it easier to get it in there with both of them. I'll just squeeze them a little bit with the pliers and see what happens. Let's see if I can, uh, you guys can't really see it too well, but.
Ooh, there it goes a little bit. You heard it pop. Might be enough. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little. There we go. If it's a problem, I'll mess with it when I get back to the other old neighbor. Alright, to the parts store. Did it? Put the bracket back in. It's legit. You got li you got little man's. We should make a YouTube video showing people how to upgrade the battery. Yeah, you got little man's uh, go go uh, whatever. Yo, it's even got power a wheels going. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, like you talk into it and it's a loud. Speaker. That's that. Uh, that police car came out of that one unit. Right? Yeah. There you go. Free power wheels for the kids, right? It's what All right. Let's see. 
Yeah, let's see if this thing will start and charge. At least it was an easy repair. Did you see the Mustang turbos I got last night? Right here, twin turbo kit for a Mustang for 20 bucks. <laughs> yep, it's a net tote. It's not the whole kit, but it's the turbos. No. Oh yeah, there she goes. Charging now. I'll let it idle for a while. I kind of wasted, drew the battery down, didn't waste it, but drew it down a little bit driving home. Is this for like the or something? No, it's a twin turbo kit for a V8. Here's the instructions. Yeah. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you all in the next one. She's a lot quieter now. <laughs> charging. Uh, it's charging. Is it? Does the horn work? You got. Hold on. I'm plug it real quick, and then you can turn everything on. It's got oh, everything. look at that! It's got dash lights. <laughs> what the? Yeah. <laughs> it even tells you the voltage. Really? Yeah, and then That's it's got cool. this too. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's it's sweet. Cool yeah. Look, it's got headlights too. They're on. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It's got a fast and slow speed. Sweet. He's gonna love that. Yeah, man. <laughs> the lights turning red, so you know it's charging. Yeah. And what'd you so. do? Fourteen dollars for a battery and a charger, right? No, the battery was like twenty-two, and yeah. then the charger was like fourteen. Yeah, That's but you got the double battery, the yeah, bigger yeah, one, right? That's sweet. Thirty-six bucks for power wheels. Can't beat that.